next in this tutorial series about the light passes in AOV widget is going to focus on the color settings tab. Here you'll find three settings, OCIO config, color configuration, and stable tone curve. So the first thing I'll say is you don't have to use an OCIO config if you don't want to. You technically should, and we'll get into that, but if you just want to render what's on your screen, you can uncheck the disable tone curve option, and I would recommend keeping EXR unchecked in the render options. This will make it so that you have a PNG file of what you see in Unreal Viewport straight into your editing or compositing software. The reason why you shouldn't render with the tone curve on is because it limits your options to adjust the footage in compositing. You'll see here two images, one rendered with the tone curve disabled and one with the tone curve enabled. You can see the difference in grading the footage. One peaks very fast and has a limit to the amount of color changes you can make. The other can stretch values more and is more flexible with color adjustments. Why is this? Well we have to look at what the tone curve in Unreal is. Ironically, the tone curve is exactly what it says it is. It's a mathematical curve used to adjust the brightness and contrast of an image to fit within the displayable range you see on the monitor. We'll try to go in as deep as we can into this without getting too technical. What we're going into is called linear workflow. Everything you do on a computer is done in what's called a color space. There are multiple types of color spaces, but we are gonna focus on the ones relevant to us in this video. Linear color space, this is the color space set you work in. This is where color values are directly proportional to light intensity. Output reference color spaces like sRGB Rec 709. This is the color space that we view on our monitors. Most of what you view on your monitor is in an sRGB color space. Generally, you want to be working in a linear color space, making sure all of your texture files, your HDRI files are all done in a linear color space. Then, while doing these adjustments, you want to make sure you're viewing through the same output reference color space like sRGB Rec 7 or 9 or the Unreal Engine Tone Curve to have consistency. On the other hand, if you want to make your texture files, your HDR files, and your renders in an output reference color space like rendering with the tone curve on, you are limiting the data range in your file, making it harder to adjust later on. So where does the tone curve fit into this? So the tone curve transforms your linear color space into your output reference color spaces. How does this work? Well, if we look at our new care, I can switch the viewer to red, green, and blue channels. And if I hover my mouse over the image in the bottom right corner, you'll see these values changing. These numbers correspond to the look of your image. The number is the green value, which tells the computer what green should be shown on the screen. So Tone Curve uses mathematical curves to procedurally add to your red, green, and blue values, giving you what you see on screen. So in Unreal, without any changes, you are working in linear color space, but use a Tone Curve to transform the values from linear to your output reference color spaces like sRGB. The next setting is the OCIO config. In a professional VFX animation settings, we work in linear color spaces. Our textures are saved in a linear format, our HDRIs are saved in a linear format, and renders are rendered out in a linear color space called ASUS CG. ASUS CG is a wide gamut linear color space designed for CG workflows within the Academy Color Encoding System or ASUS framework. Why is it linear? Well, it uses a linear color space to represent light intensities. The value of the small pixels that make up your images are proportional to the actual light intensity in the scene. So this means that doubling the exposure of your light doubles the brightness of what that light affects in your scene. But why use ASUS CG and not the linear color space Unreal uses before the tone curve? The reason for that is ASUS CG has a much wider gamut. What this means is the range of colors that can be used is much longer. So how do we use ASUS? Well, there's two ways. You can go into your project setting and switch your color space to ASUS CG. The other way is to use an OCIO config on render. OCIO is a color management system that maintains consistent color representation across different softwares. It allows you to seamlessly transform between color spaces in a flexible way. In OCIO, we have a scene referred and displayed referred color spaces. So to set this up, we're gonna go into our OCIO folder, select the pre-made OCIO config in the tool. We're going to select the utility linear sRGB color space, the ASUS ASUS CG color space, and the ASUS sRGB display space. Next, in the viewport, we wanna click our viewer dropdown and find color management section at the bottom. Under OCIO config, you want to enable display and set ASUS CG and ASUS sRGB. You'll immediately see the change in color in your viewport. 
this is setting our linear color space as ASUS CG and our view space as ASUS sRGB. Now we can adjust our lighting in the proper color space. For rendering, we can now go to our tool. Click on the color settings tab. Check on the box for OCIO config. Select our config source, set our transform source to utility, linear, sRGB, and our transform destination to ASUS, ASUS CG. This will make sure we're rendering in an ASUS linear color space. Why is this important? Because we want to move between softwares in a linear color space to retain the largest gamut of data so that we can adjust them as much as we need in comp or editing. As you can see now in Nuke, I have ASUS set up so I can move between display spaces while adjusting my project. Since I did everything and adjusted everything in Unreal in the ASUS sRGB color space, I'm going to make sure that I'm working in the ASUS sRGB color space in Nuke. In Resolve, you'll need to set up your color space in your project as ASUS and use an ASUS transform to transform your file into an ASUS CC format, which is a log format used in color grading software to adjust values. The benefits of a log color space is that it is optimized for color grading, as it's designed to have a gamut that is human perceptible, meaning that it is more compressed than linear, but allows for subtle adjustments that compress the values for viewing on monitors or TV sets, making it standardized. This was a pretty technical tutorial on using the color settings tab with a light pass the AOV widget. If you have further questions about it, you can leave a comment below or join the Discord, link in the description. As always, if you want an easy to use render tool for Unreal Engine, you can check out the light passes and AOV widget on the Fab Marketplace. Link in the description below.